118 single family townhomes. Wow, 118, how is that even possible? Five years ago, we start with zero multifamily experience. We started off as passive investor, and now we are lead GP in nine large multifamily apartment complex with over $300 million in our portfolio. Three of those nine deals went full cycle, AKA sold in an average whole period of 25 months with 2.0 equity vote wolf. What that means is that in over a little bit over two years, we were able to double our investors' money. Now guys, past performance does not guarantee future results. With this project north of Dallas, we're literally turning dirt into 118 single family individual townhomes. We're building the entire neighborhood with our tenant in mind and they're willing to pay premium on it. We truly have pinch me moment, reflecting on the journey that we got started, the team we have assembled, and of course, the million dollar lessons we wish we knew earlier. Five years, wow, time has gone by so fast. In fact, earlier today, I was scrolling through my Facebook and I realized today's my brother's fifth year anniversary, what our brother, fifth year <laughs> wedding anniversary. Basically, he got married the same time we started our multifamily journey. Wow, time flew by, right? Really, really fast. The thing is, people get really impatient, and the first year, people always overestimate what they can do, but they also underestimate a lot of things when it comes to how much they can get done in five years. And which is, we're actually the testament to, if you are patient enough and you wait out that five years plus, this is what we're able to do at that point. You have heard about our business evolutions, and you have witnessed how we navigate the black spawn event, like COVID-19, like the war on Ukraine, and the insane high interest rate high do you guys know it was been like 11 times that they did not know it was 11 times? Yeah, since March 2022 of that crazy interest rate hike. And of course, you guys have witnessed our growth in our business. We the Kelly Sisters would like to thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. We would not be here without you. If you're new to apartment investing or you've already dabbled or you're one of our investors, then this episode will either boost your confidence into getting to multifamily or it'll actually get you even more excited on the journey you're already on. Yes, definitely. And guys, if you're looking for more success, less headache and heartache. Here are the million dollar lessons we wish we knew earlier. You know, this initial lesson take us back to Sion National Park where we were absolutely stoked about tackling the Narrows. Now, what's the narrow you might be wondering? Well, my friend, it's the crown jewel of Sion's backcountry. It's renowned for good reason. Picture this, colossal thousand foot wall of Navajo sandstone rising from both sides and countless centuries erosions have sculpted the rocks into a mind-blowing fluted and whorled formations. But here's the kicker and is a lot like crafting the perfect perfect capital stack for multifamily, beauty can mask the peril. You see, once you venture into the narrows, there's only two ways out, at the trailhead or at the end of the line. If heaven fits an unexpected flash flood crashes your party, you're in a world of trouble. Enter at your own risk, folks. The same principle applies to when you're piecing together that capital stack. Here's where experience takes the stage. If you jumble up with dead component, your investment might hemorrhage money faster than a high roller gambler in Vegas. What we mean is you've got to ensure that your loan terms, debt payments, and exit strategy are sync with your investment. If you miss the mark on any of these crucial three points, you're flirting with disaster for your investment. Now, let's glide seamlessly into our second lesson. Have you ever experienced dining at top tier Japanese sushi restaurant? Picture this. Our first encounter with Ethno Sawa in the heart of Biblio. It was war apart from the run of the mill strip mall sushi joint. Yeah, here's the master of Samurai welcome you with a distinct flair. The weight set? They display a level of hyper attentiveness that seem as though they're clairvoyant, as if they can anticipate your needs before you even voice them. The chef? A true maestro. Unveiling intricate sushi preparation and the origin of each ingredient, it was akin to stepping into an art gallery. Our time there was nothing short of extraordinary, but as you might guess, such experience came with a price tag that matched the quality and the service. And this brings us to the crux of the matter, guys. In the world of multifamily, assembling the right team, an A team, is paramount. You see, we had to recruit the team members who are aligned with the property perfectly, with the type of property that we're developing. You can't expect individuals who are accustomed to handling and managing C class assets to fully grasp the level of service and excellence required for A-class properties and vice versa. Ensuring that your team's skill set and talents harmonize with the nature of your asset is absolutely critical. It's like selecting the perfect ingredients for a massive old sushi roll. Each component needs to complement and enhance the overall experience. Now, let's dive into our final lesson where all the pieces come together. In one memorable episode of The Big Bang Theory, Penny finds herself reluctantly chauffeuring Shodan to the DMV as they embark on this adventure. Shodan 
with his ever watchful eyes, spot the ominous check engine light. Oops, indeed. You see, while Penny might be living on the edge, we simply can't take such risks with our investor hard-earned money. That's precisely why, for every deal, the property must boast substantial capital reserve. Think of it as your rainy day fund, there to cover those unforeseen expenses that inevitably crop up. Imagine replacing water heaters, windows, roofs, and any other lurking deterrents. It's almost like Murphy Law has a special interest in real estate. <laughs> the less you have in reserve, the more things tend to unravel. So it's imperative to ensure that your reserve is robust. The exact amount you need in reserve will hinge on various factors such as property's age, condition, and quality. For our built rent, aka ground of development property, we had a construction reserve exceeding $2 million along with an interest rate reserve topping $1 million. This not only provides a peace of mind but also confidence that the property can weather any unforeseen storms that may come its way. There you have it, million dollar lessons being which we knew earlier. We hope this episode gives you tips, strategies, and secrets to grow your business no matter what it is. When we started all this, we weren't sure where our journey would lead us to. We're so proud of the empire we're creating, what it's been, and we can't wait to see where it'll go. We feel so grateful to be celebrating our latest milestone with you. Now that you've learned the million dollar lessons we wish we knew earlier, tune into this episode on how to get so rich and stay rich. 